All right, we're live here with HackerCast episode 13 bonus footage. Bonus footage. Part de, if you will. So I, I created a, a demo just to kind of cover some of the existing known ways to flood uh, using just a tiny bit of JavaScript uh, and a loop um, and an image tag. Uh, it's called Flash Flood, uh, not because uh, it uses Flash, but because it is uh, fast at flooding. Um, that's an, kind of an homage to California. It's underwater right now. <laughs> or the Bay Area, anyway. Yeah, what a timely but, demo we're doing. I know, I know. It's kind of like that, right? That's kind of what I named it for. But <clears throat> So, uh, basically all you do, and this, this is just designed uh, to put strain on a website. Uh, it's not necessarily going to take it down. Uh, I think it would take somewhere around, depending on how you're hitting it and how fast you're hitting it, anywhere between 4 and 40 machines to take down, like, an average Apache server, let's say. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it, it obviously depends a, a lot on what type of server. If it's Drupal and it's, like, really heavy database stuff, it might take it down a lot faster than a, a totally, like, super locked in, you know, very efficient, you know, HTML-only type website. But the reason why this is designed to, take, to be uh, more aggressive than a typical just loop of, uh, like, image tags or whatever is that it sends an arbitrary parameter username and, and uh, sorry, ar arbitrary parameter and value uh, every single time it makes a connection. So if I you know, take down my own website here, which is not never a good idea, but I'll run this once a second just so you can see it. So here's the URL, and as you'll see, it's hitting it different um, key value pairs every single time. So if, let's say you have like a varnish server in front of the website or some, some sort of anti-caching or caching system or whatever uh, to try to prevent this kind of thing from happening, you're going to get a lot of misses and it'll go straight to the website, which means that effectively your website is taking the brunt of it and the inline proxy is just getting slammed. Uh, and of course you can speed this way up. Um, I'm not going to speed it up too, too much, but this is 10 times faster so you can kind of get a <laughs> feel for how fast this thing can get. Uh, and you're limited to around six connections uh, per second per browser instance, but you can open multiple di different browser instances if you want to go faster, run it from multiple machines. Uh, and, or, or, or as Matt Johansson and Jeremiah Grossman once found, you could put it on an ad network. <laughs> or, and, or, or, though, forget about ad network. We actually found a bypass for that six connection limit in Firefox. Oh, did you? What was that? Uh, instead of HTTP colon, you do FTP colon slash slash and then and then a colon yeah. port eighty at the end. Yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. Yeah. So you can do FTP colon. Actually, that that example is listed right here. So in case you forget the syntax, uh, and it will try to connect that many times per second as well. Uh, so you can see it making a bunch of connections there, <clears throat> and you can effectively go as fast as you want, but. Uh, in that particular case, it won't be super helpful against like a Varnish server because the Varnish server will not pass it through back to the HTTP server. So, not as good for yeah. that particular scenario. But the code's pretty straightforward. Um, it's designed to be very, very, very portable. Uh, there's nothing super tricky about it. Uh, one thing that I designed into this demo is that uh, if you host it somewhere, you can actually send a URL, uh, the URL you want to hit, and the timer along in a in a anchor tag, that way you can iframe it in or whatever and get a lot of people to hit it. Uh, if you felt like doing some sort of social DOS or whatever, which is uh, how the uh, Iranian uh, websites went down um, using something very similar to this. Um, a little, little less elegant, but effectively the same thing. Or throw uh, five bucks out of that network. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and you, you could very easily port this over just to being pure JavaScript. There's no need for this HTML stuff. Uh, but uh, the reason I wrote it uh, was basically just to create, uh, I think there's been a lot of kind of confusion about what exactly is a uh, denial of service and what's possible, and I think this is a really simple example that I think most people can grok now that they can see it. So I threw it up on my website. Uh, we'll put a link to it so people can play with it. Please don't take anything down <laughs> other than your own stuff. You can take your own stuff down. Uh, but it's a good example that kind of shows uh, what we've always known to be true and what guys like Jeremiah and Matt uh, did at Black Hat. Uh, so enjoy, but be safe.
Yeah, I think this is super cool. I think the the only real difference between your code and mine is that you you're randomizing the the key value pairs, and that's probably most of your code is probably having to do with generating <laughs> random strings and, and and being able to start it and stop it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, like. I mean, the the actual code that's doing the multiple connections is seriously just a small loop generating yeah. image tags. Uh, like, I put it up on slide uh, at Black Hat, and, I mean, it's just hilarious, right? It's not like, oh, we wrote some cool exploit. It's like, no, I wrote, you know, four lines of JavaScript and just put it in an ad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it's designed to work, right? I mean, that's, that's where we are. I mean, that's the state of the industry, so... It's scary, it's, uh, and it's kind of terrifying to put this code out because I know people will potentially use it, but, uh, but the thing is it's always been there. We've known this exploit's existed, um, no different. It's the same old thing. It's just I'm trying to make it much more clear to people how bad this problem really is. Yeah, this isn't code that you know, you're leaking that would have taken some black hat years to fine-tune, right? This is super simple JavaScript code, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think just the awareness of it is probably really good. You know, I did a, I did a follow-up to that with Akamai instead of just dosting our own Apache server. Tried to actually take down Akamai.com, and, you know, we, we theorized if we could run multiple ad campaigns. You know, you can really, I mean, we caused some alarms to go off at the very least, right, with really minimal effort. So, you know, this kind of stuff is pretty dangerous even for people with high high-end denial of service protection, right? If, if the uh, attacker is very determined, you know, this could get pretty, pretty nasty pretty quick. Oh, totally. I mean, the reason why this is not necessarily that great of an exploit, in my opinion, um, unless you see it on an ad network or get other people to do it for you, like send them an email and say, please click here or whatever, uh, is that effectively it's your IP. <laughs> you're connecting and dosing somebody. So you're going to go to jail if you use this thing. Uh, but uh, as opposed to like a UDP flood or you know something with you know or a, t- a sin flood where you can spoof the the source address or the yeah yeah for the source address. So not a, not a great exploit unless you're having other people do it for you. But it's still I think very scary that it's so easy. Yeah, I mean, part of a v- I mean, it could be part of a very small cross-site scripting worm. It wouldn't even need to be a massive cross-site scripting worm to really start to cause some pain if that was your goal, right? If you found some really simple cross-site scripting attack, you could, instead of stealing people's sessions, or you could do that too. <laughs> like I said, it's all really small code, right? Write some JavaScript to steal session, run into that, some JavaScript to Take flash the website. Some other, yeah, <laughs> exactly. some other website while you're at it. So Exactly. Anyway, that's my demo. All right, well, everyone in California, get your, <laughs> yeah, get your umbrellas. Don't let your sights go down. Don't let your cars go underwater. <laughs> Definitely. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. <laughs>